Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. This is Naman Rao and today we are going to prepare tooth number 5 PFM. This is reduction stand and we are just going to check at the end if we made proper reduction. So as you see now I'm making depth cuts. I usually like making somewhere around 1 to 1.5 for PFM because you need actual reduction of 1.5. For the beginners I recommend going to 1 not 1.5 because you will need little room for polishing. So as you see I'm making one on buckle and one on lingual. Always measure because lots of time you either overdo it or you're under reduced. You don't want that and you don't want to use your reduction stand multiple times. Now I'm going to prep the proximal surface using 169 L burr this burr is really amazing. Reason being, it's thin and very sharp. Always remember to have a new pair of burr when you're prepping a tooth, or else you are gonna take the entire day to prep and the time will pass by. The reason this burr is nice because it leaves a thin leaf of uh, ivory or plastic uh, around the tooth. So that makes it really easy and you don't make the edges in tooth. Now we are going to make a rough margin all around the tooth. This step is really important according to me and this is how I like it because if you have a rough margin you know that you have to prepare tooth about this and you have not going down and also remember all the margins has to be 0.5 to 1mm above gingiva it cannot be below. Sub gingival margins are not acceptable for exam purposes. In patient it varies but on exam purposes, make sure your supra gingival and make this rough margin for your reference all around the tooth surface. The best thing about this prep is there is no distal tooth. Hence, you won't nick the distal tooth. The worst thing is there is a mesial tooth and you don't want to nick it. If the nick is polishable, you will survive. If the nick has to go under restoration, it's a failure. I always try to go from buccal to mesial, lingual and distal because I want more concentration in the difficult part. As you see I'm using hand instrument just to remove the G margin. This is not an important step for now, you can do it at the end. Now we'll prepare the occlusal surface. The occlusal clearance for PFM is 2mm on the buccal and 2mm on the lingual. Always remember you run the burrs on the cusp the way they are. Don't change the anatomy. If you change the anatomy, it's going to be really difficult to recreate it and you will either over reduce or you will spoil the prep. If you have any difficulty, try to see the natural anatomy on the opposite side and you will be able to follow it. As you can see, we have grossly reduced the tooth surface. Now it's our time to go towards finishing and smoothing. This step is really important because you don't want any rough margins or rough tooth surface. In this step, you will be also creating taper. So selection of burr is really important. The taper should be six to eight degree for this prep. I usually prefer using 8856016 burr for this step. It is really important that you know that speed is everything for really smooth and finished prep. It's not your burr, but your speed. Always use low speed for your finishing and smoothening. As you see, now we'll be making a functional cusp bevel. The step is very easy. Go take the reference from the molar tooth and you'll be able to create it. Once you're done with that, Use the same smoothing and finishing burr to remove any sharp edges that you find it on the prep, on the coronal surface or in the margins, wherever possible. Try to smoothen it. As I said, speed is important. Try to use low speed for this step. If you use high speed, you will be over contouring or you will be over prepping the tooth. Now we are going to inspect our prep. I'm using hand instrument. You use any hand instrument and run around the margin. It should not get stuck anywhere. It should go smoothly. As we know for the PFM, the margin requirements 
is 1mm, you need to have 1mm all over the tooth surface uniformly and you should be able to see margin all around the tooth from the aerial view. Also check if you placed your margin correctly, you don't want to be too supra gingival or sub gingival. It should be 0.5 to 1mm about gingiva. Always make sure no nicking on the edges and tooth. Now we'll be visualizing using our stent. The prep looks good, smooth, finished. Table looks good. You can see margin all around the tooth surfaces. Reductions are done well. What else do we need? We are done with this prep. Thanks a lot for watching my video. And I also put some additional description that might be helpful to you guys. And as I said, everyone can do this. It's just a matter of time and practice.